nice yeah cool it's thursday again and um we're back for a thursday live with me and myself uh yeah let's see who is tuning in tonight who is here who is joining in don't be shy <laughs> Yes, people, how was your day? My one was good. Yeah, not nothing, nothing really special, but yes. Let's see who is joining in. Anybody here? Track Life. Hi, what's up? Nice, nice. You're the first. <laughs> That's so cool. How was your day? Star Tile, big up yourself. Good to see you. My day was okay. It's good to see you. Thanks, thanks. Trinidad and Tobago in the house. Woo, woo. That is so cool. Our neighbors, nice. Yeah, man. How, how, is, how is life in Trinidad? How are you guys doing over there? I should mute this. Dave, how is your Valentine? I was looking for a life. Ah, oh, you know, I wanted to. But then, <laughs> I was busy. So, yeah, so I was like, all right, I'll just have it on Thursday. I'm sorry. Sean, blessings. Feli, freediver, pick up yourself. Luvina, good evening. Nice, Calvin, pick up yourself. Greetings. Life is Awesome in Trinidad and Tobago. Wonderful. El Citrico de Cuba. Hola. Hi. How are you? This is so cool. People are tuning in. I like it. Dave. Yeah, man. Dave. I'm sorry. How was your How was your Valentine? What did you do? George. Greetings. I'm good. You know, giving thanks. Giving thanks. Yeah. So, let me put this on mute. Mm -hmm. Yes, people, so how are you guys doing? Marlene, hi. Nice to see you. <laughs> With a mermaid icon. Choop, choop, choop. <laughs> nice, nice. Michael. Jordine. Ah, that's a cool name. My cousin named Jordine. Nice people. People, how was your day? Having my tea ready here. <laughs> Just relaxing. We're not on curfew anymore. Oh, nice. Where is that, Dave? But yeah, I'm hearing they are um, lifting restrictions now. Um more and more some countries dropping all the restrictions so it looks like we're going somewhere here barbados nice that's so cool i always have a positive vibe and energy truck life big up yourself truck life what kind of truck you're driving yes james good night how was my week? You know, good, nothing special, just um, working and thinking of what adventure I could go on next. <laughs> Drive wreckers. Ah, I see. All mostly trucks and tractors. Okay, cool. Ainsley, hi, greetings. Free smoothie. <laughs> you see, now I see you, girl. <laughs> yes, people, I didn't see her in my last life, but now I see her. Yes, that's where I got my good smoothies. <laughs> hi, now I see you. Nice tuning in. Craig from Cincinnati. Nice. Good night, Rayon. Good night. Yeah. Atoli Taylor. Okay. I hope I'm not butchering your name, Atoli. 
Yes, good to see you. What happened to the hairstyle, Dave? You know, these hairstyles don't, don't really stay in long. So it was up here and I took it down. <laughs> yeah, but they're still twisted. But even you can see, you know, it's growing out already after a week. So yeah, doesn't stay long, but it's, it still looks better than two weeks ago. <laughs> Empress Laya, big up yourself. Where is the tea? The tea is right here. And I'm having my favorite Nooni ginger tea. Oh, truck life. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> hair, yeah, yeah. Some I have days where I just don't know what to do with my hair. Ah. <laughs> um da da dee da 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 Yes people Nooni ginger tea first time hearing about that one. Is it a tea bag? Chalk life, you need to get that tea. <laughs> Yes, it is in a tea bag and um, you can find it in any supermarket in Jamaica. It's the um, what in that? Caribbean Caribbean tea? No, Caribbean something. It's a brand. Oh, Caribbean Dreams, I think it is. So yes, yeah, so they have the Noni Ginger. Try it out. It's Delicioso. <laughs> Craig, no, no. Especially for Mermaid. Mermaid, that swims all the time. I love it. Yeah, thanks, Merlin. Oh, yeah. Ah, Texas. Well, mm, yeah, that's a little far right now, but I should definitely travel off island hopefully one day but for now the adventures are in jamaica yeah but you know things are going in a good direction right now so hopefully traveling is soon um not such a pain in the ass so yeah <laughs> or in the nose <laughs> i should say <laughs> Yes, people. Yeah. So yeah, I was thinking um where I should go next. Well, if the if the sea is good, I want to go diving. But it's always like, what are you gonna do if the sea is rough? So I'm not sure. How many layers of clothing you wear? when you're diving well all right so i have no i so i don't have um a three meal suit which would be ideal for these weathers right now so all i have is basically a rush guard which is me is nothing um is is like a t-shirt so i wear just all of them <laughs> it's not ideal but it does help so I wear about three rush guard and I have now a weight belt so that helps with all these layers so I'm floating up like a balloon and uh, yeah but I definitely want to buy myself a, a three mil top um, yeah so hopefully soon I can get one so I don't need to wear so much layers <laughs> And I'm still cold, you know. I'm still cold, but not as cold. Yeah. Um, I should film some ganja farms. No, you know, I don't think that goes according to YouTube guidelines. I heard some stories that people did that and then their their channel got flagged. So I don't want to get flagged. So yeah. Not going into that sort of content and taking any risks. Um, Rayon Richards, no, born in Switzerland. 
Um, did I miss something here? How many everyday fun, Glenn? Hey, Glenn! Evening, evening. Also, more videos with Rust Kitchen. Yes, Rust Kitchen. There's actually a video. My next video gonna be from Rust Kitchen because I still have one which I have not uploaded, which is still the same weekend in November last year. Um, but I did split it up the the vlogs into different days. So the last one will come out this week. And um, but yeah, I'm due to go back there definitely. Hopefully. Mm, soon maybe maybe next month or so yeah when is the rainy season in Jamaica I don't want to come over there when it's raining well rainy season would start well you might have some rain in May but usually definitely well not Seasons have been affected by climate, so seasons being not the way they used to be, really. So you get like rain earlier or later, so it's a little mixed up. But yeah, you could say that, you know, rainy season, hurricane season, anytime, you know, August, September. But usually September, October, rain yeah but then sometimes all into november rain and then sometimes no rain so it's really kind of on and off depending on the year and the world <laughs> yes the seasons are very unpredictable like i don't know back in the days what you could kind of almost bet on those seasons but no they are all over the place it's cold when it's not supposed to be cold. It's hot when it's not supposed to be hot. <laughs> or or it's they're shorter or longer. Um, yeah. But usually, I think it's safe to say if you travel like December, January, February, March, April, you shouldn't meet any longer or extended time of rain. Yeah, it's a good time to visit and it's not so hot like in summer, which a lot of people appreciate as well when visiting Jamaica. On that blog with spearfishing, when you guys was eating fish on the beach, why you left as you finished eating? Why I left as I finished eating? Glenn, which one is that? Which, which, um, which spearfishing video are you referring to? But just like that, I assume I had to go home. <laughs> yeah, you know, usually it, it gets late. So if when we start the dive in the morning and then when we come out and then we get the fish ready and the fire ready and then cooking and then the day is almost over and then everybody just wrapping up and basically go, going home. Yeah, I'm not sure which video you're referring, but I'm sure, yeah, I had to just go home. And sometimes I still have to drive home, like um, some of those videos were in Ochis and I have to go back to Kingston. So, you know, I kind of have to wrap it up. And then also the traffic, I try to avoid traffic. So, yeah. Um... Christmas breeze comes after Christmas now. Today in Jamaica was very breezy. Yes, truck life. It was so breezy. Oh my God. Where are you now? Glenn, where are you now? Switzerland? No, I'm in Kingston, Jamaica. Hey, what's up? My first time seeing your live. Enjoy your videos. Ah, nice. We got 365 star boy or boy <laughs> big up yourself <laughs> yes truck life thank you he truck life has my age he knows so thank you for telling the guy everybody here hey guys if you just tuned in give it a like give the video a like and that will help my video yes thanks um all right where am i 
Marlene, how's your family doing soon when everywhere is open? Well, get a chance to meet them. Yes, yes. It, I, I still think it will take some time because of the different countries and sometimes certain flies have transit, maybe in other countries. So um, we're still in the beginning of, but definitely, yeah. But I think we probably go another couple of months until everybody's kind of the same. Um, is it you to ask? Yes, Elvis. We don't ask a lady her age. Yeah. <laughs> don't you know? <laughs> Uh, you don't think it get hot in Jamaica like it does in Texas? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I've never been to Texas, but definitely what maybe that like maybe what could make a difference is the humidity. Probably Texas is dry, like dry heat, and I feel like dry heat always is more. I don't know. Just feels hotter and and more. Like, I don't know, which in Jamaica, we, it's not so dry, dry. And yeah. Um, da, da, dee, da, da, da. I don't think that. Hey, one of Connor, pick up yourself. Marlene, greetings again. Sherlene, hi, good night. <laughs> Glenn, you need to go up the hill again from the soldier camp i really love that video yes i actually have some other hills i want to trick and um but i'm working on it because some of those hiking adventures trekking adventures need some more organization and i need a group i need to put together a group in order to go there because um just also for costs you know so transportation and stay and everything is just more fun and so on. So it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a group together for my next one. You need to da 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 da. Conrad, like your videos. Thank you, thank you. Guys, have you seen my last video with NASA Link? For some reason, that video has very low views, and I'm like, hey, why? You know, I really don't understand this YouTube thing. It's like, like, why? Isn't that what all my sub subscribers like? <laughs> so anyway, if you haven't seen my last video, go and check it out. Or you can, oh, you know what? You could help me, and you could send that video to your friends. Ainsley, hey Jess, your granddad a baker. If so, I usually have his bread. How you know? Ganesh, good night. Ganesh, greetings, Damian. Don't sell them no land. Let them lease. <laughs> Omar, greetings. Thanks for all those hearts. Big up yourself. Connor, when are you going back to Moko Yard? You know, I'm planning to go back to Moko. Um, I haven't, I'm not sure as yet, but most likely next month, if, he, if, if, if it's available, you know, if I can get a booking for next month, I'll try. Yeah. Um, where am I? Junior, greetings. Rayon, other than doing vlogs, what else do you do? Enjoy doing. Um, Rayon, I like, I love being outdoors. I just love it. Everything adventure, outdoors, diving, everything related with water. Yes, I need it. <laughs> um, outdoor cooking, camping. That's kind of what I really love to do. Yeah, that's that's. That's me. Um, what else would I love? 
I love reading books. I love go to the movies. I like what else do I like? Oh, I like sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I like you know uh, exercise, working out. Main I love I love martial arts workouts, but that has not been happening for so long now because of COVID. But if it's not martial arts, then it's just really anything. I enjoy just anything once I'm active can be running, swimming, cycling. Um, I like a CrossFit approach. Uh, yeah, no, just me. <laughs> yeah, what else do I like? I think, I think that traveling. I like traveling. I like discovering new places. So, guys, if there's a if there's a super duper place in Jamaica which you feel like, girl, you need to see that. You need to visit there. Then let me know so I can check it out. It could be uh, super cool. So mainly what I like is off the beaten path stuff. Like, you know, untouched or, or you know, that vibe. I'm not the resort person. so <laughs> Don't give any resort names. <laughs> Anything off the beaten path. So yeah, let me know. It could be, yeah, some cool um, guest house or some, I don't know. I know. Uh, all right, all right, all right. I'm talking, talking, but I have to keep up with my subscribers here and read what they're saying. Um, yeah, Shane, Miss Cargill, will you try to grow your hair to the ground? Yes. I mean, you know, this is my first time locking my hair. This is the first time they, they reach this length. And I'm just like, let's see how long. Um, how do I say? I also don't know. You know, they get heavier and heavier so for now it's very manageable um so so yeah i'm experimenting and see how until i guess they get too much weight <laughs> i probably cut it a little bit but for now i'm just excited about the length i'm actually very excited about the length it feels so cool to have long hair because you know i actually have an afro my real hair is like this so you know have this and can be like yeah <laughs> it's so cool <laughs> and yeah so i really enjoy this locking journey here it's been um how long now uh, six years yeah a little while now <laughs> since i decided to lock my hair all right glenn have you ever been to treasure beach glenn i have been to treasure beach but i only have one video and i definitely need to go back there and explore and you know spend some time over there um and go on some adventures on that end I actually have a video from Cheshire Beach of an amazing waterfall and then we also went to Pelican Bar. Uh, here, I try to read, try not to miss anything. Hey guys, if I'm not calling out your name, then, then that's just because my eyes didn't see it. <laughs> but I try to do my best to, you know, see you. Truck life, yeah, James, huh? da da dee. Charms, good evening from Canada, nice. How is the weather now? It's still snowstorm and thing and thing. Ratty, hi. DJ Ras Bling Entertainment, big up yourself. Dominica, nice, that's so cool. Ainsley, I'm from Portland, about half a mile from your family. Okay, hi. <laughs> That's nice. Chuck life, you're just very adventurous. Yes, there's just something with adventure. It just, I don't know, makes you feel like a life. I know, like there's just, you know, you can come out so pumped from just a cool day out and... Even that hiking the other day, it was so beautiful. 
like oh my i wish i could bring all you guys <laughs> on onto that Sincona hike it is so nice hey if you can do that hike you should if you're visiting jamaica soon or so or anytime soon or i don't know when but if you do visit you should do that hike go visit Sincona. well that is if you like nature i should say if you're not into nature then 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 don't <laughs> um oh my uh, all right where am i ainsley here then junior yes i made a rasta pasta and i must say it was great ah nice isn't this a cool recipe quick easy and delicious yeah man I, rasta pasta is one of my to-go recipes damian big up yourself would you like to hear hair to be long as moko no i don't think i want it that long no not that long hello from mississippi all your video are good the best is your second but my first is moko ah tories thank you so much my next video will um come out this week and it's from moko's yard yes hey links greetings how are you thank you i'm good you know i'm good you know giving thanks giving thanks yeah Emil, I just started growing mine and it's down past my chin for about a year. Nice. It's such an interesting journey, you know, and it's it's very unique also because everybody here is different. So everybody has a different um, experience because like mines were so fine when I started and then they got thicker and thicker and thicker and they got now a nice size. I didn't know that. I was like, oh, <laughs> and then eventually they grew and I'm like, wow, this is so cool. So, yeah. Um, da -da -dee, da -da -da. Oh, here we go. Rayon, what do you think about doing vlogs in Switzerland? Is it beautiful there? Oh, Rayon. Switzerland is amazing. It's very beautiful. We have a lot of mountains and lakes and yeah, yeah. If if you like mountains, that's the place to be. Um, and then yes, a lot of nature trails as well. Beautiful mountains, Alps, you know, Swiss Alps. <laughs> and if you're into skiing and snowboarding, then yes switzerland it is nice for skiing i never heard of fresh mackerel what is it like um fresh mackerel is it has more like a it has more like a the texture is not as soft like a snapper or a lionfish it's more a like a, a tuna texture so it's okay but it it's not it's not my favorite in terms of like my favorite is still the lionfish and the a snapper and jack <laughs> you know but it's good same way but yeah you know but it, it's not like um but i like salt mackerel so yeah actually made salt mackerel rundown on Sunday. Do you still compete in Taekwondo? Intellectual poison? No, you know, I stopped competing. I come, it's karate do, but I retired from competition. Glenn, I have never seen that video. I really love your vibes. Glenn, big up yourself. Thanks so much. Charms, yes, we're still getting some snow okay okay vegan trader hi jess i want to visit portland and hike to see all the waterfalls do you know how many there are in portland ah uh, no i do not know how many because there are a lot a lot a lot a lot yes um i mean you have the famous one reach falls you know but I have no idea how many. There are a lot. 
Milbank area alone is about 20 waterfalls. And when I say waterfalls, not like some little chaka chaka fall, like some big waterfall. <laughs> but to get there, yeah, is is some trekking and hiking is required. Um, there are some vlogs on my channel um, of some of those. I have I am gonna visit more of those falls up there. Um, I'm planning it, but um, yeah, it's in planning. It's in planning. Hold on, hold on. Hey, I got a super chat. Thank you so much. Virtual high five. Chuck. Hey, by the way, I have I have a gift for all the super chats. So if you want, anybody who sends a super chat gets a gift. And because I think it's so cool. So I have something for you. So Junior, what you can do at the end of the at the end of this life, I will put my email there. So you can send me an email and then I'll send you something. <laughs> All right, super cool. Thank you so much. That's so cool. yes all right so where we are hold on all right here charles hudson bless up thanks appreciate have guys have you seen my last video because i'm not sure what's happening there it's just not getting any views but it's such a cool video <laughs> links greetings from martinique hey bonsoir comment vas tu conrad supposed to snow okay Jane, good night. All is well? Nice. Good to hear. Chuck Life. When you talk about adventure, your faces, I love it. I know, right? I love it. <laughs> yeah, man. Tim, greetings. Links, what happened with your camera? I don't know what, what happened. Oh, with the GoPro? I don't, it, I don't know. It seems that water got into the camera. So it was, it says waterproof up to 10 feet and i was in shallow water like two feet <laughs> and was just recording and it just died so apparently water got in somehow i don't know i still saved i could save the footage but the camera is dead yeah the struggles the struggles oh my A good good camera so yeah so from now what i what i suggest is always use your case if you can because it seems that you never know yeah that is what's happened links sashimi with mackerel very tasty ah nice i never tried that Emil, red snapper, I know, right? Red snapper is just awesome. <laughs> Flatbush, okay. Charles Hudson, I'm coming to Mobe in September. Nice, cool. You gonna you gonna travel around or are you gonna stay in Mobe? Path, bless up, lovely lady. Great content. Thanks. Pick up yourself. Junior, super, yes. Doctor, Southside, Elite, bless up. Greetings, Marlene, it was blurry. Oh, you mean this video? Well, you know, I don't know. It just keeps, whenever I try to look at the chat, it, it gets out of focus. And I don't know how to fix it. Like, phone, stop it. <laughs> yeah. Check the box gasket. Check the box gasket. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's what's up. Guys, if you just logged on, give the video a like, a thumbs up. Yes, that is much of a help. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Charles, going to visit Matthew and Moko. All right, yeah, they're in St. Thomas. 
Very cool. Yeah, nice. That's cool. Quite a drive from Mobe. So I guess you're planning some time. Like planning some time to stay in St. Thomas. Yeah. Yes, people. All right. What do I have here? Da da da. Mm -hmm. I think I've seen all the messages. Nice, nice. Yes, people. So yeah, I'm not sure what my next adventure is gonna be, but I better come up with an idea because. <laughs> Because YouTube always wants video, video, video. <laughs> Check the seal around the grouper. The seal goes bad. Yes, Junior. Um, it's actually fairly new camera. This everything is was really and I could cry. The seal. Everything looks good because it's 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 fairly. It was a fairly new camera. Um, it was it was the GoPro nine? Ah. But it, it's dead, it's gone, like, and then, of course, being here in Jamaica, we cannot send it to repair or whatever, so, um, that was just it. <laughs> Planning one month. All right, that's a good time. Very good. So you're going to have a good time. That's a good time. One month, yes, you will get, you will get, you know. Because sometimes when you arrive, you know, a, a week gone, and then you're really settling, and you're already in your second week. So in the third week, you really can start to relax and forget about work and forget about everything. And I think that's when the vacation really starts to kick in. <laughs> um, but of course, if one has the luxurious... Um, to do so, to, to spend uh, three, four weeks, then that's excellent. Muntas, Kadir, good evening, links. Cause on the last video, although the box was closed, there is water that was infiltrated inside. I have the heat black. Yes, links, I had water. So same thing, water came in my water case because there was a crack, but I was like, well, it's waterproof, so that shouldn't, you know do anything to the camera as long i'm not going too deep and it worked so but the gopro 9 maybe i didn't close it properly but I mean, it's just weird it's very well maybe there was actually maybe something else went wrong i don't know glenn i love to write i would love to get one of my poems to you right now i'm making arrangements to read a function tomorrow. All right, nice. Yes, so the camera case, which is on my mask, that case is cracked. But the case, I have a hard time to actually get it off my mask because it's kind of all zzed up. <laughs> hey, people, there's always something. <laughs> So I ordered a new case for the camera. So I hope it will arrive soon. Mm -hmm. But that's my old camera. That's my the, the old the GoPro Seven. So a good thing I have that one as a backup. Yeah. And the GoPro 10 is 500. Yes, yes, $500. And it's a very good camera. You know, it's really cool. And I just love, they have the, the they have the, what do you call it? When you have it like in, in the selfie position, you can see actually yourself. And I think that's cool. So nine have it and the 10 has it. So it's almost like, I now got used to that and now I'm back with the GoPro 7 and I'm like, huh? it feels so weird. 
And of course, the quality is just super cool. Well, links. I have a I have a mask, so there was not much options because I needed a mask which has the 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 the, the, the GoPro mount on it, so I can add my GoPro. And there was only one on Amazon, and that's the one I got. Yeah, and it actually works very well. I am very surprised. I love it actually. That's the camera, the the mask you see me in all the videos, the black one. Yeah, yeah. Um, and even didn't take me much time to break it in. It, I think it only f was fogging up maybe on two dives in the beginning. And then that was it. Buki Otley, greetings. Good evening. Yes, links. That, that is very convenient. Omer alien action. All right. Junior, Amazon have more option now. Yeah, they have. Um, so far, I'm happy with the mask. Of course, with the mask, it's a little more tricky because you have to break them in and sometimes they will just take longer than others or they will just keep fogging up even though you burn them, the mask. Um, so right now, I'm happy that I have a good mask. And yeah, it's just I can't get <laughs> I can't get the case off. <laughs> yeah. Junior, really? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> nice. So if, if I have a complaint. Then I'll let you know, Junior. Hey, Gary, thank you so much. Greetings. Gary, all the super chats tonight, get a gift from me. So thanks for the super chat. High five. Check. Um, Gary, I'm going to, at the end of this live, you will have my email. You can send me an email and I'll send you a gift. Yes. Uh, have you ever tried ordering on AliExpress? No, never. I never ordered anything from there. Is it good? It looks so... I don't trust it. <laughs> I'm like, is it real? Uh, yeah, but obviously it's, it's, it's probably the second biggest, if not the biggest, so it must be good. Uh, yeah, but no, I never. Out of many, we are one. Hello, Jamaica Mermaid. How are you doing? You have a good Valentine's one. Hey, I'm doing great. Yes, you know, giving thanks. Um, Valentine's was nice as well. I actually wanted to do a live, but then got busy. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's always good, you know, to... to Having it, love is always good. So if 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 there is, oh, of course, every day is a day to show love and appreciate. But we need reminders too. <laughs> so more than others. So it's good that we have a day to be reminded, because humans can be funny. They need reminders. <laughs> yeah. I work in the warehouse. All right. Cool. Links. I'm sending you a pitch of the mask on Instagram. All right, cool. I haven't had any delivery issues so far. Mmm. Cool. I'll have to try them out because I sometimes I do feel like Amazon is a little limited in certain things. Um, yeah. So I'll actually have to check it out. Barefoot travels. Have you gotten any fishing in lately? Also, do you ever fish with rotten on blah blah real or handline barefoot travels no i have never done that yet and that is something i want to do next i want to try the 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 handline and the the, the 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 rod and just try that type of fishing i have done the deep sea La, uh, deep sea fishing with the with the electronical rod yeah i did that one which was cool 
big fish got some queen snapper that was pretty cool so um yes i want to i definitely want to try that out um so yeah and lately barefoot my 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 i just uploaded a spear fishing video in ochi with nasa link and i got my first jack i love jack <laughs> yes yes orange freestyle adventure good evening hey clarity flex good night hey clarity flex i wanted to ask you something you still here or then orange greetings automany love is very important any new recipes I don't have any new recipes, no, but I should link up with Chef Vital because we all need more inspiration. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Barefoot, I can't hold my breath very well. I have breathing problems, so I haven't tried much spear fishing. I had pole spear, but wasn't good with it. Gonna try spear fishing soon though. Yeah, that's that's the trick. Um so and that's my challenge. The good nice fish most of them are on the deeper end so the better your breath hold and the deeper you can swim the more likely you get a good nice size fish so me now I'm, I'm still shooting in the shallow area I mean I'm, I'm, I'm getting better but still um, yeah, then you have to be very lucky to get a good size. I mean, they are. It's not that they're not in the shallow. I mean, the other day, that big barracuda actually was in the shallow. Um, that was the video. Oh, I have not uploaded that yet. So you wouldn't know. <laughs> hey, my next video is going to be about that barracuda. Um, and that one was in the shallow. So, but you just have to be lucky. But yeah, so. With spear fishing and even pole spear, you have to be able, even those line fish, they kind of are on the deeper end. So if you go down there and you're out of breath, you have no time to line up. So you need some bottom time. And that's kind of the thing. Yeah. What is so interesting, I so enjoy spear fishing and I just also enjoy the fact that I'm actually getting better. The more I can go out, the more practice, the better I get, the more things I understand, the more I understand the different fish and the readings of the different fish and the different tactics and so on and so on. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I'm not reading. Hello. Charles, Christian, will you snorkel in Port Royal, please? Port Royal have some big ass jellyfish out there. <laughs> Yo, the biggest jellyfish I've seen are in Port Royal. Pixel. I'm afraid of that water. <laughs> All right, where we are. All right, Clarity Fix, I wanted to ask you, have you ever hiked above Reggae Falls? Go up. Why didn't you put your two Dyneema shells on your spear gun? I have both of them there. Dave, I have never, what? I've never drive so long until I came Jamaica from the airport to Ochi. Jamaica is big compared to Barbados, which is 163. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, man, you can drive a couple of hours. It takes you a couple of hours to get around the island. And especially because some parts have a uh, very bad road. Charms, I was just viewing a picture of you holding that massive barracuda. Yeah, man, it was so heavy. I could barely hold it. Yeah, that was a 20 pound barracuda. That was really cool. And that was the first time being out there with the guys while they actually shoot such big fish. I was just saying, wow, this is so cool. <laughs> it's massive. Like, it's so big. It's like, yeah. It's very impressive. Very impressive. Because, hey, I cannot shoot these things. 
they would they would swim away with my gun and meet me too <laughs> yeah uh where am i at? um Barefoot. I love Barracuda. Very good eating. I can't wait to see the video. Yeah, man, I love Barracuda. It's just I'm always a little scared to eat Barra, but I love it. And usually I still eat it. Even though I'm always like... Oh. Cam C, great content, Jessica. I love the videos. Bless up. One love. Thank you so much. Pick up yourself. Muntas Kadir. Afid from Toronto, Canada. Nice. Pick up yourself. Jamaican redneck, pick up yourself. Orden, wish I could swim. You can learn. You can learn it. If you want to learn to swim within a year, if you stick to it, if you stick to the class or whatever, you'll be able to swim. Yeah. It's not, swimming is not something which you only if you learned it as a child you you're able to swim no 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 it's something you can all if you're 70 years old and you want to learn to swim you can learn it hey Kwesi pick up yourself greetings yeah by the way Kwesi started his new channel people head over there check it out and the name of the channel is legend of the blue and we were just talking about the barracuda and that was Kwesi <laughs> who shot it yeah 20 pound barra hey guys i'm sorry that my videos keep getting out of focus i don't know why 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 is he doing that over my phone um yeah man so where are we now here jamaican rene just go for it yeah man thanks you ever buck up on a jellyfish well not no 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 i didn't well ah did i i did <laughs> i did i did you see it's been a long time i even forgot and I so the thing is I didn't the, the burns or the, the jelly who sting me I didn't see them it just was like pang burn ow what happened and I didn't know I didn't see it I just got this big ass burn and it was from a jellyfish so I did buck up with them but it's not like I was swimming and this big thing I would see it in front of me or right there but I do have it actually on one on camera but I was on the deck and I put down my GoPro and I got a full blown jelly in, in the uh, footage. It's in the very, very beginning of my videos when I went scuba diving in Port Royal. Yeah. And oh, it burns, it burns. Oh my God. Actually my last burn I got from a jellyfish was in the grill. Yes, that nice pretty peach there, yeah. We were there playing and then all of a sudden I was like, ay! <laughs> oh, one big whoop I got. Jess, check out this mask. Sipu, the snorkel mask, full face, full detachable. All right, cool. When I'm finished with the life, I'll, I'll check it out, Junior. Thank you so much. You dive as well, Junior? Clarity Flex, no, I never go up there. All right. Links, on the last video, it looks like you have a metal shell on the Dyneema. Ah. Oh. No, I changed it. No, I changed that one. Check my last video. It's not metal again. I changed it. Because they said if it bursts on you, it can really hurt. So I said, all right, I don't want to find out. <laughs> and actually, I changed it. To prevent the shell from jumping like one last video, if you can make a knot at the end. Yes, there was actually. It, I, I think it was just because most of the time, sometimes I fix my gun like right before we going into sea. And maybe that's why it wasn't tight enough because 
there was actually a knot, but it just came out. Um, but I think it's supposed to be good now. But yeah, that was ah, always something. <laughs> but actually, I want the bigger gun now. I don't know. I don't know. I start to feel like it's because my gun is a small gun. Yeah. I give this gun some more... I give this spare gun some more dives and if i'm not soon getting something bigger then i want to try actually a bigger one not the big big one but just a little bit <laughs> mm. have you ever eaten parrot fish all right um so the thing is as somebody who is um you know how, how should i say it you know, I'm concerned about the environment, you right? And the parrot fish people, we should not eat parrot fish. Yeah. So the parrot fish is very has a very important role in the ecosystem of the ocean. It is one of the fish who actually produces sand and and it's just that fish is different. So if we if we kill all of them, then we interrupt the, the 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 sea life you know most of the, everybody every all of those fish not all but some of them are a little more important to the ecosystem of the marine life than others and so therefore trying to avoid well me because i try not to shoot part fish i try and because yes i'm not I'm not shooting for livelihood, you know, uh, this is not, I'm, I'm sports, I do, so I really have the, I can choose, you know, so I will not shoot. I shoot snappers and everything else, <laughs> if I can. Um, but of course, if, I don't know, you know, it can always happen, but really the idea is to kind of be more mindful of what to shoot and what not to shoot and ideally no juvenile fish. Um, even that can be a, sometimes a little challenge because I cannot dive deep so uh, yet. So yeah, so try, but I still try to stay at a certain size, you know. Um, but yeah, it's, it's difficult, but for the, the protection of the pirate fish, definitely we as also consumer have to be a little more mindful and, and stop ordering pirate fish, <laughs> you know, but yeah, I had it because once it, if it's dead, then it's dead, you know, then it's not like, but I really try to educate my friends and family and surroundings and you guys that the pirate fish you should not eat. You can look it up. Look into it. Um, educate yourself around the parrot fish. And then you can make, you know, better choices. There's so many other fish. You know, I, I, it's not even my favorite fish. I think if you, if you, snapper is much better for me. Or the lionfish. Lionfish? Oh, no. So nice. Try lionfish next time. Yes, yes, yes. There, there, there. How you call it? Yeah, they don't eat meat. So that's why they're so important. Um, the parrots and, and which one else? The doctor. Ah, yeah, but of course, people, I'm learning too. You know, I'm, I'm also still learning and, and, and about what's next. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where am I? Up here, up here. No, never go there. Link, pick up. Uh, well, fishermen. There is a lot of fishermen that can't swim without a fin. Did you know that? <laughs> hey, Jamaican redneck, I know that. Yeah, yeah, and it's funny, right? But it's true, it's true. <laughs> it is true, actually. It is true. Hmm... Hey guys, if you just tune in to the live, please give the video a thumbs up. I will know it's necessary I can share my knowledge with you. Yaman yeah, links, share, share. We love the knowledge. 
Marlene, like and share. Yes, people, share and like. There is a lot of fishermen that, yeah, man, that's true. Hey, Tanya, cousin, big up yourself. How are you? Akneel, you need to visit Cayman Islands. Really? What is there? You guys have some good um, reefs? Is it nice to dive? Junior, no, I've never done any diving, but I would if I get the chance. All right, nice. Are you near sea? What size is your spear gun? It's a small size, the small, like... <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I, I, don't, I don't even know, like, how much feet. I'm not sure. But you probably can guess from the video. It's, it's very small. I think that's the smallest gun. Mm. Ah, where am I? Oh, here. No, I've never done. Thanks. What's it? Uh? Te Kiato, Morehu, Blessed Safran, uh -huh. New Zealand. Nice, New Zealand. Greetings. Love it. Equator, where do you like dive the most? I'm um, in Portland. In Portland. But I. I'm discovering Ochi a little bit, you know, so I was like, wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> but so far, I haven't been diving everywhere, but Portland is still my favorite so far. Um, but Ochi has a vibe. Ochi has a vibe. I know about the part fish, but it's good I don't keep them anymore because it's illegal. But I usually always show them back. Okay, that's pick up yourself, barefoot travels. I'll be selling them in Long Bay soon. Oh, nice, cool. Herbivores, exactly. Rich part fish are endangered. Ah, well, so we, the gen, yeah, we are, yeah, we could say that, yes, we should have more. We generally should have more fish. Like that's fish are endangered. <laughs> we it's not that lively out here. Yeah. Um, hmm, yeah. We need more sanctuaries, and and respect the work of the sanctuaries that we don't go and fish in the sanctuaries. Fishermen don't go into sanctuaries. And if you know a fisherman doing that, tell him not to do it. Um, Yes, so respect the works of the sanctuaries because at the end, it is for the fisher folks, right? If that one is successful, then the fish will go out and spread out and then eventually you can shoot it or catch it. But yeah, there's much, much work to do. Mm, Bjorn, greetings from Sweden. Hi, Corey. Bless up, greetings. Yeah, finally caught a live. Pick up yourself. Hey guys, give the video a like if you just tuned in. Yeah, man. All right, where are we? Rene, that fact about the part fish, them just taste so good. I know, I know. But you know, we want to also respect Mother Nature and just try to work with Mother Nature. So, you know, if we can, if we can grow the population back to a good size, then I guess it okay but that's not the case <laughs> 75 yeah links i think that's about it yeah 75 mm -hmm. rich in florida you can catch them but they have to be kept alive and certain length but only for your fish tank can't kill them or eat them you know barefoot travels i love what florida is doing i mean i think how they how they um just their regulations when it comes to fishing i really think it helps a lot um for the marine life to actually maintain marine life because it's so popular they fish you know and they're not fished out and it's because of the rules they have so it's an ongoing thing um if we, if everybody is respecting it 
Um, and I would love to see that out here as well so that fishing can always go on, you know. Um, but I think it's just a lot of education around that topic it has to happen to understand it's not, it's really for the fisher folks, it's for the, 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 the fishing industry that we have fish. But in order to have fish, we just have to allow them to grow. <laughs> But if we kill out all of the baby fish, <laughs> then that's just it. Uh, yeah, so where are we? Rich, wanna... Thanks for the information. Rich, Yaman, yeah, big up yourself. Fitzroy, greetings. Jamaican Renek, Yaman, yeah, Jbot, the baker. Bless up, greetings. Damien, Suresh, big up yourself. How are you? Do you use a drone on your videos? I started. I started. I'm still practicing, Damien, so... <laughs> Um, I'm getting better, but then I also had some problems with my drone because for some reason the cable would always say like it cannot connect, but it's new and the cable is new, everything's new and it just gives me, and then I googled it and apparently it's, it's a very common fault of the drones, so it's like actually I will take out the drone and I never know. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't connect. So, yeah. But I'm practicing. I'm practicing. So soon you will see more drone footage in my videos. Yeah. G-Flex, big up yourself. Barefoot Charles, they're going to open up a Goliath group thing here now. But I think it costs $300. Oh, ooh, I would love to see those groupers. They're so big. I saw some videos about it. That is so cool. Mm, love your video, by the way. By the beach. All right, Chief Flex, thanks. The part fish is keeping the reefs alive. Yes. And when there is less part fish, the reefs suffer. Yeah, man. Exactly. And then if that suffers, then the other life sea life is suffering and it just everything's just dying <laughs> yeah uh um where are we now love how you pronounce my name properly really i did i tell you a lot of peeps have a hard time to probably pronounce our maori language top marks to you i hunt and fish to feed our elderly family. Oh, nice! Do you do you um, post fishing videos on your channel? I have to check it out. That is so cool. Barefoot travels. You should definitely come to Florida one day if you do. Be sure to let me know. I got a nice quiet island. Can camp. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Now I want to come. Barefoot travels. Don't say no more. <laughs> I'm hopping on the next plane. No, but definitely, I do think actually my first <sighs> travel probably is going to be to Florida because it's it's near and, and yeah, it seems just the easiest dive travel, which I probably can do. And after that, I want to go to Mexico. But yeah, definitely, I think Florida is right here. It just seems easier to organize and get it done. Mm, Junior, no, the closest beach to me is about two hours drive. Oh, I see. Jeremiah, pick up yourself. Greetings. The cattle, may you stay blessed, my friend. Thank you for the kind nature to help the community. Nice. The 75 is a good harmony to start, especially since you have two rubber bands. It will allow you to work well in the approach of the fish. Yeah, man, links. But I feel like, you see you see that one now? If a, with a longer gun, I wouldn't have to approach that close. Because when I approach, fish gone a long time. <laughs> but with a longer gun, I could just be a little further away and maybe catch him. So that's kind of what I think is, is, is the difficulty here. Or, I don't know, maybe I'm just not, <laughs> maybe I just need more practice, but I kind of blame it now on the gun. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Equator, I see you are always finding dirty remote spots. Where is the garbage coming from? 
All right, so yes, uh, thanks for mentioning that because it is a problem which we all have um, on our islands and shores. So the ocean is just giving us back the garbage. And it's there, it, there is more than one source, you know? So the garbage travels. We have garbage from other countries like French speaking countries. You, you look at some bottles, they're coming from Haiti. So the garbage travels and then garbage is put into the river through, put it into the sea through the river. So when, when people are littering in the hills or wherever in the city and it goes into a river stream, it goes right into the ocean and then the ocean just brings it back to us. And then you have also boats and I don't know what else, who else, you know, is throwing all those garbage. But the, it's washed up on shore. So most of the, the garbage you see in the videos is not necessarily people who are walk past by there and throw the garbage there. No, no, no. That's washed up from the sea. And it's a lot. Yeah, man. So it's, it's a global issue. It's not, it's really everybody that concerns everybody. We just have to do better when it comes to garbage management. Like we have to use, we reduce single-use plastic and and um, more recycling, more education around plastic. But even companies, you know, they, 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 they. sometimes you really ask yourself. On the one hand, we all say like, hey, you know, reduce plastic and they're like, okay, plastic one sweetie plastic and one more plastic like five plastics around the sweetie bag i'm like really <laughs> so yeah that it is with the plastic so people if you can walk with your you know portable coffee mug and if you can drink with that one bring that one bring your water bottle with you so you reduce buying the bottles and so on so there's little things we can do to you know be a part of the solution All right, where am I here? You just have the right fit on the size, the diameter of your rubber bands. Yeah, uh, anything you want, my friend. Only has a small boat, but we take it to the island, set up camp and cruise around, have fun, listen to Bob Marley and sit on the fire and light up the barbecue. Oh, barefoot, it, I'm sold. Let's do it. <laughs> Out of many, we are one. What is my next adventure? I don't know. I really don't know. And it's, it's, it's stressing me. <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, I don't know. I just, I will see. I, I hope I can go diving this weekend. So if the sea, I hope it was so windy today. So I don't know. It, it looks choppy. But I hope the sea is kind of cutting down off for the weekend. So I hope I can go diving. If not, mm, I don't know. I have to find something. <laughs> mm. Thanks, Barefoot Travels. Struggles are real here in New Zealand. COVID has hit hard, especially the government mandate system. Every little bit helps wherever we can. Ah, oh man. I'm sorry to hear. Links, I understand you. you. I started with 100 C. Yeah, you see? That's why I want. Uh, that's why I want a big uh, spear gun now. I had a job picking up trash on Palm Beach, but I didn't like it the way the person ran it. Because of the people donate, we went through with fine tooth comb. A house didn't donate. She rushed us. Oh, but you know, people, you can just call your friends. Get some garbage bag and just say, all right, we're going to clean this section. Yeah, do something like, you know, we, we really don't necessarily have to wait on an organization to, to, to organize a big beach cleanup. I mean, that's great, but there's so much. If we just every now and then can just go out and have our own little cleanup, then we definitely help in the, the problem. Uh, yeah. What's happening here with my tea? Oh yeah, I still have some. <laughs> mm. 
Mm-hmm. All right, I am here. Hey guys, if you just tuned in to the live stream, please hit that like button. All right, let me see where I'm at. Links, but if a good coefficient for your rubber band, you will have good shots. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it works. But I do think now I need a bigger one <laughs> because the approaching part is just not happening. So I, maybe it's better if I have a bigger spear gun because, you know, I'm like a whale. <laughs> do a lot of documentaries. Let's TV. They ask her about me. I should have called myself. I was all for the cause, but when the cause was just for money ticket to someone, I don't vibe with that. Oh, I see. I see. Johnny Blacks. Hey, thanks for tuning in. What's up? How you doing? Yeah, man, guys, Chad is in the life. Yeah, man, you guys know Chad because we have a lot of videos on my channel on river adventures and hikes and whatnot. <laughs> Chad, we soon have to go on another adventure. Well, is your birthday up? So that's next, I guess. Um, Dflex, can you make a video showing the people how to make our local food such as Bami? That's actually a good idea. Yeah, man. That's a very good idea because I actually don't know it either. <laughs> So I need somebody. Yeah, man, I will find somebody and do Bami. I love Bami. But I never I never done it myself. Out of many one. Thanks for the cleaning up. The I Ryan, one love. Yeah, man. Every time I go to the beach, I pick up trash. I see fine trash in the pockets. And yeah, right? I even have always a little garbage bag in my car and in my bag, especially if I go hiking or to the river. Yeah, man. Ecuador, I will be visiting Mar in March. You motivate me to try hiking to the Blue Mountain. I hope I will make it up to the top. That is wonderful. So, if you are physically, you know, fit, you can do the Blue Mountain. But if not, no problem. We have a lot of other trails which are... um easier like you can go up to hollywell and hollywell has five different trails which you can walk and they are from one hour two hour three hour trails name it and they're all amazing and there is several different hikes and trails you can do in the region of the blue mountain like sincona if you haven't seen my sincona video check it out it's amazing um, but of course, the peak is the peak. If you can do that one, then definitely do it. Yeah, man. You will hike up during the night. Well, you don't have to, but it's the more popular hike. Is leaving out 2 o'clock in the morning, so you reach up at 5 for the sunrise. Pick up yourself, chat. Yeah, man, G-Flex. Um, sounds good. It's cold, so ring warm thing. Yeah, man, G Flex, right. It's cold up there, so make sure you you don't get fooled with the warmness down here. <laughs> it will change. <laughs> so once you're at the peak, it's actually cold up there. So yeah, prepare for that. Prepare for that. <laughs> so me, for example, I brought a shirt which I could change because while walking up, I sweat and I was wet. So I brought a shirt so I could change. So I'm not in my wet clothes up there. And then, but even on top of that, you still need a warm, something warm. Twiggy, spearfishing. How are you? Nice to see you. What's up? Yes, people. Oh, did I did I miss something here? Da da di da da da. I'm going to do something at Fisherman Park. You're going to like 
put up a lot of information about the fish and live live water Jamaica. Oh nice Jamaica redneck. Nice. Sounds good. Yeah man. Good. All right, nice. Yeah man, I'm doing that's fine as well. Giving thanks, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that is that. Um oh, I'll try almost everything from the sea, but I have to say snapper and flounder are my fave fish. Sea urgings kinda along bluff oyster go to hey you know you know actually we don't we don't eat sea eggs here so that's funny but i learned that yes in some parts of the world they eat sea egg i just swim past them <laughs> we have a lot and when i learned that they actually edible i didn't even know i was like what so I was watching some videos on YouTube how to prepare those sea eggs. So I don't know if I will try one day, but yeah, that's so interesting. It's good to know. So if ever, ever, ever if any time or so I should be on a survival trip camping, then I know I can go for the sea eggs. <laughs> urgent, sea urgent. Expect that next adventure in March or April. I'm also going to few new rivers next week for my birthday photo shoot. Ooh, nice chat. That's so cool. Yeah, man. Hey, I'm ready, ready, ready like Freddy. <laughs> Let's go on some adventures. <laughs> Which river are you going for the photo shoot? Twiggy, you look so nice. Thank you. It's maybe the yellow. <laughs> Kerry Palmer, nice. Good night. How are you? You are in a different sport today. Yeah, right? I just turned a little bit. So you actually see my swimsuit there. <laughs> I know I actually want to change my background. I just want to give it a change. But every time I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? <laughs> I need, I don't know. I know. I just want to change it. Somewhere in Portland, I try to message you. Okay, hey, Portland, message me. <laughs> That's cool. Tecchiato, it's a delicacy here, Jess. Ha, you love it. You think so? I'm wondering. And you don't cook it, right? You eat it raw. Damien, hi people, don't Jessica have a nice smile and personality? Oh, Damien, thank you so much. Pick up yourself. Nice. You know, chat, you know what, where would be actually a nice river for a photo shoot? Um, Cane River. Well, that's not in Portland, but still, it's beautiful because of the, the big rocks there. So you might want to consider Cane Fields. Not Cane Field, Cane River. Eat it raw, right, yeah. That's so interesting. Even, even um, I learned also that so you guys also eat sea cucumber? <laughs> I also learned that people eat that. So yeah. Do you know? Didn't I add some water somewhere because my teeth finished? Oh yeah. I'm prepared. <laughs> Yes, people, again, if you just tuned in, give the video a like. And what time is it? Ooh. 
All right, I'm soon, soon, soon gonna close the live. We've been here over an hour and it was so lovely again to just talk with you guys. I love you guys. You are so cool. You rock, Yemen. Yeah, you, 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 all of you. Yeah, that's so cool. Love it. Love how we always, you guys help me to lively up this live stream. Devon, big up yourself from Queens. Nice. Carrie, just blow up one of your pictures. See, and put it behind you. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, man, I should do that. I will, I will see. Ooh, I need a good quality for that. Mm. I'll have to see. I think the pictures I have are like just okay for social media and they probably will be pixelated if I blow it up. But I'll look into it. And if not, I'll try to get... Hmm. I have to look into it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> what? When you laugh, you remind me of Jeff Spicoli. Oh, I don't know Jeff Spicoli. <laughs> yeah, respect. Tecchiato, God bless, said, greetings, Junior, Yaman, get up, projector. Hmm, yeah. Um, no, I was more thinking of some, like, lights. Maybe light. I've seen that in other YouTube videos. Like, they have, like, a blue light, and it looks so cool. <laughs> yeah, I have to look into this and see what maybe I can get on Amazon. Mm -hmm. That will flip from image to image. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> Blessings, Tanya. How was your day, Tanya? Tina Lee, hola. Hola, hola. Yes, people. That was another hectic. Ooh. That, the opposite of my day. My day was nothing hectic. <laughs> at all uh, sometimes i like i prefer hectic work days because the time will just fly past and that's just i prefer but not too hectic neither <laughs> just a little hectic <laughs> yeah man <laughs> Cheers, your hair color is changing yeah, so that is really my real hair, hair color. And all of this, which is now growing out, is, is not my hair color. I colored it. So you see? Very different from my hair. But then, of course, I did everything on different times. So we have a different shades here. <laughs> yeah. Anthony Espino, blessings, G-Flex, Yemen, yeah, watching from the Philippines, nice. Hey, all from the Philippines are in the live, that's so cool. Oh, that must be nice also to dive in the Philippines. Did you get the PayPal donation I sent last week? I sent my husband's account. Yes, I got it. Yep. I received it. Thank you so much. And I want to actually give you something. I have, I have for all the life tonight, everybody who send a super chat gets a gift. You send it last time. So that's okay. So you get the gift as well. Um, send me an email. I will leave my email after this live. I will, hey, Damien, you too. Big up yourself. Chuck, 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 chuck. All right. So all the super chats get a gift tonight. So send me an email. I will leave my email in the description after the live. Send me an email so I can send you a gift. Yeah, you get a gift. Damian, don't forget, send me an email. And say it as well. Yes, because I appreciate you guys with sending those super chats. They just so cool. Like, I don't know, I just love it. <laughs> yeah, man, so I was like, hmm, what can I do to say thank you? So yes, so I have something for you. What motivates you to make your videos? Tina Lee, um, 
Well, it's, well, I, I, I wanted to have a YouTube channel, but I didn't know what content. So the, the, I love, I love being outdoors. I love adventures. So I was like, that might be the right content because I, I love doing it. So the entire thing will be just go well together adventure and video so yeah so and eventually then i was like you know what it's actually pretty cool because i love outdoors i love i love nature and so i felt that more content coming out of jamaica con like focusing on the beauty of jamaica nature and river and diving and and like the off the beaten path kind of vibe i was like yeah yeah i want to show that side of jamaica so and it's totally cool and i just enjoyed highlighting the beauty of jamaica and and the, that the natural lifestyle and so on um so that's kind of where i'm at with those videos all right Love your videos with Moko. All right, thanks, Yard Gang. Yeah, man, pick up yourself. Actually, the next video coming out is another Moko video because I still have one which I haven't uploaded yet. So look out for that one. More life greetings from Canada. Nice, Tanya. We love your spirit. All right, Tanya. By the way, you can also send me an email. I'll send you a gift. Chris watching from germany hi guten morgen <laughs> say thanks jess i love supporting your channel i love it really thanks i really guys i really appreciate the support because it just shows that you know you understand all the work going into actually creating content from a to z like where to go to get it all together go there and then edit all the video of the equipment and and yeah so i love it nice feels good you know and it's motivating as well the, the, to see that people appreciate it so it's like yeah let's do more <laughs> uh, all right where am i here no here oh yeah amen real talk yeah man chief flex pick up yourself judith forbes good night everybody jess i'm watching first time cola send over here oh nice Big up callers. Yes, I hope I, oh yeah, actually I wanted to link him for another link up because I have another good idea <laughs> and I want to do that with the team, Cola's team. Isa, take your time. Anyway, Jeff Spicola is a character from the movie Fast Times at Richmond High played by Sean Penn. Oh, nice. I don't think I've seen that movie. Oops. Kilarbo, up like sky. Nice. Pick up yourself. That means you couldn't live in New York. No, no, no. I couldn't live in New York. I, I'm not a city person at all. I can just... I didn't even want to come to Kingston in the beginning. And then I was like, all right. <laughs> but it's not far from countryside. Like Kingston, you can escape the Kingston city life so quick, so easy. In no time, you are by a river or in the mountains or at the beach. So that's fine. Uh, that's okay. But yeah, no, I'm not the city person. I don't know. It's like, I don't get it. I don't get this idea of consummation of this. I don't know. It's just people overdo it. Like, what's going on? Why, why so much shopping? Shopping, 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 shopping. It seems like everything in the city is about shopping. <laughs> uh, Jamaica is so beautiful. I'm planning to move back home to JA for a part of this year. Nice said, yes. Come back. It's beautiful. Barefoot, we got a Barracuda video and Moko video soon. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. The, the Moko video and then the Barra video and then... And then I need to go and go out there and, and find something, another video for you guys. I need to record something this weekend. I don't know yet what, but 
I'll find something. Um, yeah, man. So where are we? Oh, yeah, here. Tina, nice. What video editor and camera equipment do you use? Tina Lee, I use Final Cut. I started with iMovie. And then I upgraded <laughs> to Final Cut. And I use GoPro for everything. Like everything. I, I vlog with my GoPro. So even when I'm not diving, hiking, I use the GoPro same way. I love the GoPro. I don't even know. I don't even know why not everybody's vlogging. I saw those vlogging cameras and I'm like, it's so heavy and there's no stabilizer. And everybody is asking me what to use for, to, for vlogging. I will say GoPro. Even if you're not diving. It's just so small and handy and just perfect. Uh, yeah, that is that. Sid, there are so many beautiful places to live there. I can't decide where to move. Ah, well, I don't know. Um, hmm. That is, that is true. That is true. There's, there's a lot of options like... Hmm. Yeah, it really kind of depend on what you want you know if you still want to be somewhere where you kind of be quick in the city for certain shoppings or access um not too far maybe from bigger you know shopping or hospitals or i don't know what if that's something important then you can consider that um or if you really love the beach then can consider that or the mountains but yeah it is tough for me it's easy for me it's portland <laughs> even though i must say saint mary has a vibe yeah man i'm very surprised and i've been exploring saint mary a little bit and um i'm like saint mary <laughs> is not bad but portland 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 is for me i hope i can come to jamaica meet you and why not dive with you hey links absolutely no no links come to jamaica come come and we go diving and we do a catch and cook <laughs> sounds like a vibe yeah man uh junior hey jess i just sent you my email address via instagram chat all right cool very good dave um have a wonderful night, Jess. After 10 now, I'm going to work to remember. Hey, Dave. Thanks for tuning in. Big up yourself. Good night, sweet dreams. And yeah, until my next live. Yeah, man. All right. Actually, I want to close this live too. <laughs> I'm just hesitating to switch to Final Cut. I'm currently using iMovie. Ooh, links. iMovie was good to start. It was really good. To start but now i don't know like eventually iMovie is very limited very limited like with text you cannot switch you cannot change you cannot nothing but a final cut is like a word like you can do like everything you can do in word you can do in final cut like the, the you can change everything how you want you know um the color grading the uh, the mute, like, it's so much better. Um, so yeah, as soon you, as soon you basically feeling very, very good with iMovie, I think you can start to upgrade. Can someone book you as a guide? yes actually yes i am a tour guide and i do tours um yeah for yeah you can send me an email so you can send me an email if you're interested in a tour and then i usually customize a tour for what i usually use group tours so um if i can either i can do the tour or if it's not me i can get another tour guide um but yeah that's possible that's possible um final cut or premiere pro no links i have final cut because i work um with mac 
and Premiere Pro, they were like, we're not available in your region. So I'm like, eh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I, I have, I work with Final Cut, but they're both great. I, I think Premiere Pro is maybe a little better listening to the professionals. Um, but of course, both programs have their fans. Um, I think for me, not being a professional, I think Final Cut is totally fine. But yeah, I probably would have taken Premiere Pro if they wouldn't have been so annoying with their region policy. Do you ever see snake before? No, I never seen one, you know. The only thing I see is eels. <laughs> almost a snake but no i have never seen one but i've seen some videos they look pretty cool actually some color and well i think that was somewhere in um asia i've never seen i wonder if we even have them out here do we have any spare fisher here in the chat have you ever seen a snake yes do you know that video editor make a lot of money so if you ever if you ever want to do that for a living it's a great career option well say that is true that is true and that's kind of always was back in my mind that if if so i i learned you know it's all self-taught here and i'm still learning with editing and, and movie making and just this whole everything around creating a video is is new territory and i've been learning and actually really enjoy it but also in the back of my mind is something that i know could be one day you know it's a skill so you never know i can you know maybe work well it's a lot of work so but i don't know if one day youtube is not it again for me then i know i could maybe be an editor for somebody else or something like that one of my bucket lists is to visit jamaica the countryside looks a lot like where i live surrounded by hills and bush and gravel roads and live self-sufficient live in the land not of it yeah man yes come to jamaica you will love it just so you know that, Natalie, which one? Me too. Uh -huh. um, yes, man. Yes, people. When I used to spear fish, I saw them all the time. Really? You know, I've never seen one. Same like with the... With the... I never seen a seahorse either, and I want to see one. <laughs> and what else I didn't see? The, the I bought myself a MacBook Pro M1 in July. I'm also a photographer. Oh yeah, I mean if you work with MacBook, Final Cut is probably what you should go for. But then, I mean, you can look into both. They're, uh, uh, they're both great, I think. Yeah. Cage, are they brown with some lighter color round spots? You know, what I've seen on some videos, they were actually bright. But I believe that they have all sorts and species of different snakes. So most likely they have brown ones. The one I saw recently was like this yellow. <laughs> I have you seen starfish? Yeah, I see starfish. Yeah. Well, Jess, it was a pleasure. Blessed night. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Blessed. Greetings and good night. Thanks, Junior. So you see, they're harmless. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're harmless. Yeah, I think they're harmless. Mm. Yeah, no, I see those eels. <laughs> I put up a video, a little shorts. You can, guys, you can check out the shorts video I put up. And there were two eels. Check out my shorts video. And uh, yeah, two eels. I think so. You can check it out. Oh, 
All right, so I've um, been saying that now for um, half an hour that I'm going to end this live, but you guys are so cool. You don't let me go. <laughs> but now I'm going <laughs> because uh, I need to get up early tomorrow. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. It's always a pleasure. I'm really having a good time with you guys here on this live. So I will be back next. Will I be back next week? Oh, my God. I'm not sure next week i'm actually not sure if i can do a night a live next week but anyways i will be back in a live if not next week so when um adios see sí, adios amigos <laughs> hey cheryl nice seeing you um all right guys thanks again and for those who send the super chat remember to send me an email so i can send you a little gift yeah man all right see you guys thanks for tuning in one love take care all right bye <laughs> so yeah where is the <laughs>